Hey guys, then it's time for the speed test comparison between the brand new Redmi Note 7 versus the Motorola One Power. And I'm really excited for this one because the Note 7 is having Snapdragon 660 SoC while the One Power comes with Snapdragon 636. So let's see which one wins this race. Okay, so starting with booting up both of these phones in 3, 2, and 1, here we go. This is stock Android One Power versus MIUI 10.2 operating system on the Redmi Note 7. And both of these phones are having Android Pie. So MIUI 10.2 based Redmi Note 7 clear winner while there's some delay in the Motorola One Power. Both of these phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Only applications that will be used for testing. There is no application which is running in the background. So let's start with the system dialer and 3, 2, and 1. So you can see the difference. The animations looks slow in the Motorola One Power. While the Redmi Note 7 clear winner here. It's time for Messenger. Here we go. The Note 7 wins here. Camera. Note 7 clear winner, let's open play store and the Motorola One Power first in loading up the play store while the Note 7 bit late. Ok so now we will open few third party applications and games, let's start with the social media applications like there's Facebook here we go and the One Power clear winner while the Note 7 bit late definitely. Now let's open the Snapchat. And yeah, one power again. Here's the Instagram. And I think one power, there we have the Discord, here we go. And both are equally same, no difference at all there. Now let's open few internet based applications like Quora. Okay, one power, now it's time for Reddit, here we go. So let the Note 7 wins here and let's start with pin out, here we go. Okay, so both were same, not a huge difference I would say. Now let's open the Subway Surfers, here we go. Note 7 clear winner. 660 versus 636, still Motorola One Power is doing really well. I mean, there's a difference in the processor, but still. Now let's open S Vault 9. Here we go. So the opening animation of S Vault 9 is slow in the Redmi Note 7, and I think there is a problem in the S Vault 9 application for the Note 7, but still, let's see. How the Note 7 manages to open the S Vault 9 first. Yeah, that's a tiny bit difference, and that may be because of the opening animation. But here we are. And at last, let's open PUBG in 3, 2, and 1. Splash is screen first there in the Motorola One Power. But still, let's see which one wins here. Alright, so 660 Snapdragon, of course, the fastest right now as compared to the 636. And that was expected, guys. That was expected. But there is a minute difference, I mean day to day usage you just cannot compare the 636 versus 660, I mean there is a very minute difference, both of them are amazing phones. If you are going to buy a new smartphone and you want better performance, you can get the Redmi Note 7. If you want a better battery with stock Android, the Motorola One Power is for you. Let's do the RAM management test. First off we have the phone dialer, 
and both of them reloaded this phone dialer application messenger both of them reloaded the messenger application i have no idea why these phones reload the system applications quickly let's open the play store i hope this is still in memory okay so redmi note 7 as always poor ram management and that's not only the case with the redmi note 7 guys i've used the redmi note 5 pro redmi note 6 pro and both of them are having poor ram management facebook it's there in both of these phones subway surfers all right so there you have the result the redmi note 7 pubg okay so it's there yeah this is it in the speed test comparison in terms of ram management the motorola one power is the winner while in terms of opening a few applications huge games the redmi note 7 clearly wins both of them are amazing phones thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and peace out